Hi ladies, how are you? Okay, so I thought I would do my TTC update today. <clears throat> I am cycle day 23 and I'm feeling okay. <laughs> I'm just like hoping I can maybe, you know, magically fall pregnant on my own this month. I do have a good feeling. Um, as I mentioned in my previous update, I am on a diet and I've just finished my first full week and a half and I have lost 3.4 kilos in a week and a half or 7.5 pounds so I'm so so happy with that result um, especially with the fact that I the only main exercise I'm doing is walking in yoga fertility yoga the only I'm still having ice cream I'm still having um, dairy for the fertility diet that I'm on so you do have a lot of dairy you have like um, yogurt and you can have ice cream and all that sort of stuff the main thing is I'm not having like white starchy carbs or refined sugars or anything like that I mean really really healthy um, if you'd like me to do like um, a day like what I eat for the day like a typical like video of what I can show you my meals I can more have to do that if you're interested in the diet I'm doing um, it's partly research it's partly my own diet and it's just trying to lose weight but mainly be more fertile it's basically trying to make myself ovulate on my own and just get my best possible chance for the climate to work if I can't ovulate on my own actually so if you like more details or you do like a whole vlog about what I'm doing um, let me know in the comments below if you're interested in all that inf kind of information. So I did do a, a OPK today, but um, it's barely there. Like there is a line, but it's like it's I doubt it was even going to show up on the camera. No, you can only just see the um, test line, but it's barely there. So I I never had a positive OPK. I, d I haven't had one well over a year um, if you go right back to the start of my vlogs I was getting positive OPKs back then but there were hormonal surges so it wasn't necessary I was releasing eggs so I haven't had a positive dark OPK in well over a year so I don't ever expect one if I ever got one I'd be like really shocked or surprised so I did two different brands this one I don't really like because it's so thin and tiny. Like, look how tiny that is. This one's not that much better. <laughs> but it's just another net cheapie. Um, I still prefer the expensive ones. But, you know, I'm trying to save money at the moment. So I'm just using all up my internet cheapies that I've got. And already in, like, my OPK stash. So if they ever give me, like, a really dark one, I'll be really surprised. So... I'm really happy with my weight loss so far. Um, my goal is to lose 10 kilos um, before my next cycle. Um, minimum five, so I'm definitely on track for five. I just checked with this converter what um, 10 kilos is in pounds. I'm pretty sure it's about 20 pounds. 22 pounds, so 10 kilos is about 22 pounds. So I'm hoping to lose that for my December cycle. Um, so I've got a few weeks to go yet because I'm usually don't get my periods to like cycle day 40 something and I'm only like cycle day 23 um, so I've got plenty of time so I'm really excited and positive just staying positive that's my whole goal for this whole two cycles the November December cycle is to stay positive yes yeah, sweetie yeah hang on a second that is my goal, um, to lose as weight, much weight as possibly can before I go on my last COVID cycle. Very good, sweetie. You can see her in the background. Um, so I think that's about it for my little update. Um, basically just staying on track, still doing OPKs, and um, just continuing, continuing my weight loss and walking and yoga. And fingers crossed, this is it, ladies. So... Give me lots of baby dust and keep me in your thoughts and I shall talk to you soon. Bye.